Oh, didn't expect that. That came out of nowhere. Damn. Was the Jake Paul fight that's just happened this weekend rigged or not? Jake Paul has just fought on the weekend, and I've seen a lot of people say that the fight was rigged. Let's talk about it. All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name's Sean Jones, and I cover everything fighting, fitness, and social commentary related. So Jake Paul just had a fight on the weekend. Chances are you probably didn't really hear much about it because it wasn't against another influencer. This time, it was against a legit professional boxer in Andre August, who's got a record of 10 wins and one loss. And we were saying on one of the previous videos that we've done about this fight that this is the route that Jake Paul needs to go down. He needs to fight legit professional boxers, maybe some journeymen, and build his way up that way. A lot of people were saying that Jake Paul's fallen off and he hasn't really got much selling power just because this fight wasn't really marketed that well. But this is the thing. No one's really heard of Andre August. Of course, a fight with someone like Tommy Fury, who's got a little bit more social media clout, is going to sell a lot better than this fight would. This is absolutely hilarious. What's even worse is I was just searching for Andre August's Instagram to see how many followers he's got to prove a point that no one knows who he is. And I came across this post by DJ Academics. Andre August deactivates his social media after getting knocked out by Jake Paul. <laughs> Someone said, damn, knocked him off all platforms. Now, I know Andre August got knocked out, but I haven't actually watched the fight yet. But I'm getting a lot of people in my DMs. I've seen a lot of people on Twitter talking about how this fight was rigged. We can even see in some of the comments here. Yo, it's Jake. I'll pay you 10 million to throw this fight. We both make millions off the advertising. Here's a 10% share of Prime too. Well, that's a stupid comment because Jake doesn't own Prime. Someone else said, rigged, ah, fights. There was also some tweets which went viral. Never seen a fight so staged in my life. I've seen only one angle of this knockout. Where's a good angle? I feel like this was hella rigged. I want to see the punch. Someone said here, it's a real punch. The guy gets paid to take the punch. It's real, but staged. Someone else said, how much was he paid to get slept, I wonder? Even people like Tommy Fury in the past have accused Jake Paul of rigging his fights. So what I want to do today is actually watch the fight and determine if I think it's rigged or not. I haven't actually seen the fight yet. I've seen the knockout punch, but that's pretty much it. Now, the zone is copyrighted content, so I can't react to this in full. I'm going to have to get a little bit choppy with the editing, and we'll just take a look at the highlights. And after it, we'll use logic, not emotion. We're not an emotional channel here. Everything is logic-based. And we'll use that logic to determine if this fight is being rigged or not. I'll also keep the volume down as well, just so I don't get copyright striked. Jake looks nice and bouncy on his toes. Looking very floaty. Probing that jab out there. Damn. Andre August got low there. Pretty much squatted into Jake's crotch. Doing a Dylan Danis. Jake's never really had great footwork. He's always been a little bit ploddy and a bit sloppy. But he looks a little bit smoother right now. Jake's throwing a lot into his punches early. Probably just trying to gain respect. Oh, he's getting low there. <laughs> Oh, they both landed then. Andre August came over the top with a right hook. Jake caught Andre as well on the ear. But it seems like Andre August isn't quite there. Zed doesn't in seem in the game. I know it's very easy to say this in hindsight. But that was that was a big shot landed by Andre August. But Jake just kept coming forward. So what we're looking for here is Jake throwing with full power. If he is, then the chances of it being rigged are slim. Most fights aren't rigged these days. The, the vast majority. Does this look like a fight or not? Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, didn't expect that. That came out of nowhere. Damn, crazy. Fantastic adjustment by Jake there. Andre August kept ducking his head down and rushing in. And you've seen a few times when his head was pretty much by Jake's crotch. Jake anticipated that. He made the adjustment and went for the uppercut. That might have been the only uppercut Jake threw in that fight. And it landed clean and flush. I mean, looking at this, are there any signs that this fight was rigged? Not at all. I think it may be time to start believing in Jake a little bit more. He's getting better fight to fight. We have to remember he's had less than 10 fights total. It's just usually professional boxers wouldn't have this amount of attention on them at 10 fights in. Usually they've got to get 25, 30, 40 wins before anyone even knows who they are. So people saying these fights are rigged, I mean, they're probably just Jake Paul haters at this point. Now I understand hating Logan Paul because Logan is a little bit of a sociopath and it's a lot easier to not be Logan Paul's fan. And this is coming from someone who never really used to like Jake Paul, but we have to kind of respect him for getting in there and he's doing it the right way. He's legit trying to prove himself. Now, Jake Paul is hand-picking his fights, and it's kind of like a lose-lose situation and a catch-22 for Jake because, really, his next five, ten fights are probably going to be something like this against Journeyman, 
against people who've got like a somewhat okay record but not too experienced in order to just pad his record a bit and get him to 20 wins and only one loss because that will make his name within boxing a bigger draw and people within the boxing community will start respecting him a lot more once he's got them fights under his belt but I think what we see in here in this fight is a classic case of someone just letting the bright lights get to them in terms of Andre August he kind of just looked a little bit frozen out there it'd be interesting to know how many shots Andre August threw what we also learned in the press conference is that Jake Paul KO'd Andre August's coach in sparring two years ago here's what Jake Paul said did your coach tell you that I dropped him in sparring too or did he not tell you that I dropped your coach in sparring but he probably didn't tell you that. He probably hyping you up. So the guy that's teaching you got worked by me two years ago. But yeah, y'all be quiet over there. You're welcome for being here. I hope you guys like the hotel rooms that I got you. I hope you guys like the accommodations. Enjoy it. It's your last week in the sport of boxing, guys. Have fun. Keep giggling. And then Andre August's coach responded to Jake saying this. Oh, what do I want to drop to? Had to pick you up. Had to pick you up. Oh, you, you hey, hey, that. your coach, your coach, what's the coach say? Like? What are you talking about? December. What are you talking about? Hey, man, get some. Hey, you got, you got work right here. You got work right here. You got work right here. What the? Yeah, y'all be quiet over there. Yeah, yeah. Hey, exactly. You talking to me? Talk to him. You talking to me? Talk to him. You gotta work with that. So you can imagine for Andre August, that'll mess with your head knowing that your coach is already being dropped by Jake Paul in sparring. I don't know the finer details of it, but if it did go down, that's going to mess with your head. I think that people need to accept now that Jake Paul is pretty okay. Is he a world champion level boxer? Of course not, but he's only been doing it for four years and he is getting better. To me, this didn't look like someone took a dive. I mean, look at his body. He's flat out for the count and the whole argument of, yeah, he got KO'd, but it was still staged is just ridiculous. You have to remember these fighters, if they did stage a fight, they're taking an incredible risk. The If it got leaked that it was true that someone took a dive, that would destroy the reputation and destroy the chances of ever putting on a boxing fight again in the future. So is it beneficial for Andre August to take a dive i mean if he got a few million and he knew that he wasn't going to make it to the top of boxing and wasn't really going to go anywhere with it he's 35 years old now he's only got 10 wins i mean how far is he really going to take it yeah it might be beneficial for them to take a pretty decent payday but that payday has got to be beneficial and worth forever being known as the guy who got knocked out by jake paul is it truly worth it the guy had to deactivate his instagram because he was probably getting harassed that much i mean can you imagine all those Jake Paul supporters coming after you in the DMs and the comments. So, I mean, as long as he got a good few million, yeah, it might be worth it. But is it worth Jake Paul taking that risk now? After all he's been through, fighting Tommy Fury, fighting professional MMA fighters, fighting all these YouTubers, saying that he's got world title aspirations, is it worth it for him to rig a fight knowing that it could potentially be leaked? I personally don't think he'd take that risk. Maybe Logan Paul, yeah. Jake Paul, though? I don't think so. I mean, but what do you guys think? Do you think this fight was rigged or not? Do you really think Jake Paul paid off Andre August to take a dive? Let me know your thoughts. I appreciate all the love and support on the channel. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. We upload every single day. I'll see you all tomorrow.